In this lecture, we want to handle the in-app purchases, there's uh, packages. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So whenever I'm going to launch a game, okay, so I'm going to click on costumes. As you can see here, you can actually buy currency, in-game currency. Okay, and with this, you can buy all sorts of stuff, hints and things like that. Okay, so it can help you in the game. So the way you would do that is just by clicking here and that brings up the coins screen okay and here this is mostly changing colors and fonts and things like that and these are actual um, uh, actual images that we need to change if you want to I personally don't want to change them but I probably will change one just to show you okay so um, just know that uh, right now there's no price return because uh, it's not hooked up yet but whenever you click on one of these cells this will um, bring back um, the, the the price and say do you want to buy it or not okay so let's change that right now so go to Xcode click on groups and files and if you uh, look down in the words folder you will see a screens folder you guys are familiar with this because we've already been there before and click on store package view controller.zip now obviously remember whatever we do here is for iPhones we got to do it for iPads as well okay so look for the underscore iPad as well okay and here we're going to change the color from being a blue background to there we go to an orange one okay so remember you need to go to groups and files all right and here the, the attribute inspector okay and i'm going to change the packages word from white to black all right and i'm done with this screen now the other screen we want to change is the one that's under the words store coins folder okay so there's a store coins folder and if you look, yeah, there's right here a store coins view controller.zip. Okay? And uh, this is the one where you get to buy the in app purchases. So I'm going to change the color of the store from the background to being blue to orange. Okay? And the, the word store from being uh, white to black. Okay? It's just to show you. All right, so now let's say I want to change the, the color of these ones right here, the one where it says buy. It says price tag purple, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for this one. How do I do that? I just right click on the project, show in Finder, and I'm going to look for the price tag purple, okay? So, again, you got to go to, um, I think it was images, or no, actually graphics, that's right. Okay, graphics, iPhone slices, remember you got to do the iPad slices after. All right, let me change view so it's easier to see. Okay, so iPhone slices, and we get a look for the purple one. The exact name is price tag purple. Okay, so let's look for price tag purple. There it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this one in Photoshop. Open with Photoshop. Oops, there we go. Open with Photoshop. All right. And I'm just going to do image adjustment, replace color. I'm going to select this color and just play with the tones. Okay, I'm going to put something more uh, reddish. So I'm going to click here, and put something this color. Okay, just for the sake of showing you that we can change it. Okay. Okay, and uh, I'm going to save that. So file, save for web. And I'm going to replace. So I'm going to replace the um, the uh, price tag purple at 2x. M make sure you're in the right folder, okay? It's in the iPhone slices. So I'm going to click on save, replace. And then I'm going to save that for web again, but I'm going to save it with half the size, okay? 50%, save. And obviously I'm going to change the name. I'm going to remove the at 2x, all right? And save. And it's going to ask you to replace. So you replace that. And now if I go back to Xcode, I see that the button has changed, okay? So it's good. Um, now, if you want to see the changes, again, you have to go uh, here and do a product clean and then click on run, okay? And uh, I'm actually going to do this in the next lecture because I want you to take a screenshot of the actual game for uh, for the um, for the, the Apple Technician review. Whenever we're going to put all the uh, settings um, in the iTunes uh, Connect to, uh, to send it for review, um, people um, from the uh, Apple, the Apple technicians want actually to see this screen, okay, and to see how to access it, 
All right, so see you guys in the next lecture. Meanwhile, uh, do a product clean and run the game.